salt. Who doesn't love salt? Right, anyway, look, we've got disks to get through. We've got some wave files, which I must have recorded. Uh, that's uh, in incubed voice recognition and some pictures on here, apparently. So I guess we should start with disk number one and see what's going on. Yeah, probably, probably some 90s tits, you know, maybe. And Ben Rattigan. Oh, it was Ben Rattigan. Oh, look. Look who's at the door. Look who's here no, today. Get, like I get to do it. If, if you want. It's I'll up to you. I'll get to do it. I'll get to do it. No, come here. Come, come here. You can go by yourself. Look who it is. Look. It's the retro future. Oh, it's, one. It's, How's it going? It's <laughs> Elliot Cole. I don't know what he's doing here. He just rocked up earlier. Yeah. So, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it anyway. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm off, so... Have a nice time. Okay, everyone. So, what does Pete talk about? Uh, we well, got um. There we go. Ah, this is fantastic. No, no, no. It's alright. You can go. You sure? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I've got this. I've got this. Look. So, what are you doing this evening? What What's the plan? So, I've got all these floppy disks from my youth. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go through them one at a time, so that there's random stuff here, and find out what's on them because I haven't touched these disks since I was like 16. Quick. This is this is well, the well known first disc. Yeah, first disc. See, that's what, that's what I mean. There's lots of absolute Virgin random discs here. Mel something by the house. I mean, this is quite exhilarating. So what? So you just whack them in. And you just see what the crack is. Yeah. So we've got these files. Yeah. So we need to know what they are. Is that the dates in which they were last? Yeah, yeah. That's so ninety four, ninety six. Look, 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 look. That's that's twelve days after now. I was, yeah, that's this is before you were born. That's 12 days after I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so we can try. So here we go. This is a program called Quick CD. And which, that was what was on that? Yeah. And this manages your CD drive and it allows you to play CDs. I'm, I'm going to shoot. We're, watching, we're about to watch a film. Okay. But uh, thank you very much for having me. And uh, this is actually quite cool. Disc 3 is going to be an exciting one. Can I, make, can I make a suggestion for your next one? Sure. Can I actually? I'm going to go with. Emergency recovery disc. That's, that's what you're going for. <laughs> a Windows Wait, what, a recovery boot, disc. Boot disc. <laughs> this, what about disc like six? It. What do you think is on that? Probably part of an installation Wait, there's one set. with photos on it. That's got Gillian Anderson on it. Yeah, okay, that one. <laughs> Lara.jpg. <laughs> Lara.jp. It's got guitar tab and Gillian Anderson. Okay, that's the one. Right. Enjoy. I hope, I hope this has got some fantastic stuff on it. Thank you very much for having me, Peter. I mean, thanks for coming, mate. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the disc. So Quick CD is a program that plays CDs. Fine. All right, so this is the one Elliot picked. So we've got pictures. Lara.jpg, JPEG is a Gillian Anderson and some guitar tablature. Honestly, this could be the disc which um, results in some uh, breaking of Twitch's terms of service. All right, so we've got we've got, we've got some web web pages. Smells text. Okay. All right. All right. So this is what we are presented with. Um, three uh, web pages. Smells text. What? What is? I'm going to spare with me. Let me just check this out. That's a bitmap. It's a chunky, chunky bitmap. Oh, there's lots of pictures there. Okay, my friends. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to check out what these pictures are. Bear with me. Oh, it's good. It's a good picture. Fine, okay. So here we are. Welcome, my friends. This is the Lara Croft picture. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at the curves on that. Party web browser. Reports channel. <laughs> Too many polygons? Oh god, I'm, so, I'm I'm sorry you had to see that. This one, hold, hold on to your waste packets. Browser, 
Look at this one. Where did where did this come from? Where did where, where did I get this in 1995? So we've got all these JPEGs as well. We've got Drew Drew, I presume it's Drew Barrymore, Diaz, Cameron Diaz, Demi Moore. <laughs> Random pictures, and then also tricycle.jpg. Tricycle. You better be ready for that one. There's also a load of guitar tabs on here. So we've got Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. Loads of Nirvana tracks. We'll move on to another disc and see what's on there. So this one. Hello. Look at that. That is Incubed Voice Recognition. Guns.jpg. Meninblack.jpg. All right. Okay, we've got two pictures and voice. This isn't looking good. We might we might have a bit of a problem. So here's the problem. So these discs are old, so some of them are going to fail. But sometimes you can get discs to work with different floppy drives. So although it's always worth going... Th I should have like an external drive or a computer with two floppy drives installed. Just so I can double check. Oh, see that? that okay, that one actually copied across in the end. Sometimes if you just retry, retry so many times, it overcomes the disk weakness. Okay, right. Um, I don't know what this program is. My house. Yes. Yes, we are in. 3D architectural drawing program. Let's create a house, shall we? Let's, let's put a wall in. What? What? Why? Why did we have this? Fuck's sake! Absolute nonsense. Look at this. We can build. We can build a house. That's, that's it. No. No more architecture. So this, this is quite interesting. This one. This one, my friends. Atari emulators, toolbox, and pacifist, which is an early Atari ST emulator, and MIDI files, including "I'll Be Missing You." Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, the ROM! The TOS.ROM is corrupt! TOS.ROM is the ROM image of an Atari ST's ROM. And it is essential for an emulator to function. It's corrupt! It's corrupt. This is Pacifist. Which is a really good emulator, which I still it's still going today in Windows. So he's trying to find the Atari ST ROM, but the only one we have is the corrupt one, I th think. No, I'll tell you what, let's, let's go straight into it. Let's look at the MIDI files. This actually works pretty well in MIDI. We've got Michael Jackson's Beat It. The electric guitar is going to be critical on this version. <laughs> oh, God. That's not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. That is, that's not bad. Apart from that starting atrocious note. Okay. It's good. That's good. Good times. Good times were had by all. Okay, uh, floppy disk, new floppy disk, taken rimmer, it's a WAV file, taken rimmer. Should be alright, should be fine. You're ending up some kind of energy emission. They've taken Mr. Rimmer. Sure, they've taken Mr. Rimmer. Quick, let's get out of here before they bring him back. The old uh, Windows 3.1 sound recorder, I love it. Look at it. This product is licensed to nerd. Let's go to the floppy cam. Much appreciated. Right, we've got water and view pictures. Got some space pictures, which we're going to need. System five. This is this could be interesting. So, system five, I think, is my like first attempt at making an operating system. I hope this works because um, it was it was a, I had a, so I, I had 
had a mate at school who was making an operating system. I thought that looks interesting. I'm going to give that a go. So I spent about a day, <laughs> two days, trying to make an operating system. Oh, oh yes! Look at this! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, what? Oh, this is an early version. Oh, no. So, Power Productions was my, what I called all my, uh, is my company. My, my company name when I was like 14. Anyway, there you go. That was um, my attempt at making an operating system. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. This is good. Probably does, look. This is 4DOS, but it's also infected with the Ripper virus. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I've got this. And I'm not entirely convinced that I should put it on this computer. So I might put that to the side for the time being. Okay, how about this one? Color changer program. Pete screen color changer. Yes. Please note the ANSI.sys device driver must be installed for this program to work. We are lacking a device driver to run it. Let's try these two. We've got Speedball 2, Brutal Deluxe. And I'm also going to load up this disk, which is a load of stuff. Cleanup.exe, mod files, iPlay.zip, icons, loads of stuff. Problem with the water type. Speedball 2 installation program. Copy drive to... Yes. 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 No, I haven't got this one. Ah. Ah. That's the end of that. We've got some mod files. Interesting. We've got i.zip. Uh, we've also got xdel. We've got cleanup. Which is a program I wrote in 1996, apparently. That restores... Uh, so that's interesting. So you know when you use a DOS program and sometimes it... Um, messes with your screen settings or sometimes you hear like a ringing on the sound card this sorts it all out i remember writing this just to so you didn't have to reboot your computer you could just run that program and it would sort dos out uh plycon i don't know what plycon is oh inertia player version 1.2 uh, so maybe this will play the, those uh, mod files. Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. You can have it running. This is very good. You can have it running at the same time you're using DOS. So you can navigate around DOS and just have mod files playing in the background. This is a good find. Plycon. Oh, so I think this can play video files. Okay, so disk 14. Let's run Plycon. Oh, this is for positioning the icons on the background, the Windows background. All right. No, we'll do one. We'll do one more. We'll do one more disc. We're gonna do. We're gonna do Star Trek Two. Look at this. Look at this. This is bullshit. What? When? We are not gonna play that game. That is for sure. Which brings brings us. It brings us to an end of the stream. But thank you for joining me on this in endeavor, this stream. It's been fun. And I wish you well in whatever you decide to do over the next few days until I see you again. Ben Rattigan is Googling Brad Pitt. And we will leave you with that. Good night, all.